Good morning, folks. We've got sunspots, solar wind waiting, earthquakes, galactic nuclei, global electric circuit, and more. We are starting with the last 24 hours on our star over at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day on the sun was quiet. We still have both a coronal hole stream expected today and the tiny CME expected tonight or tomorrow. But for now, things are quiet, even in the active region. They developed across the southern hemisphere, but have failed to elevate their flare production to any significant level. We'll still be watching them today. We're moving on to seismicity where at quakewatch.net, we find South America lit up on the Blot Echo wind map. Blot Echoes are the deeper quakes that often signal bigger ones are coming. Right now, every quake over the last 24 hours in this region hits that mark. And also folks, I mentioned an uptick in four pointers off the coast of Oregon. Technically, this is off the coast of California, but definitely the same fault system. Eyes on here as well. Interesting story up next about shifting returns from a galactic nucleus. They always put an obscuring object in there twisting the light in the disk, rather than a shift in the system intrinsic activity, but alas, I'm honestly just thrilled they're looking at the jet torus and disk together and doing those studies. The torus jet disk model is what leads not only to a plasma magnetic model of the galaxies, but it's the genesis of the galactic current sheet, just like it is in the solar system with the sun's current sheet. Up next, they say they simulated throwing millions of stars at black holes to see how the spaghettification worked. Obviously, observers largely fall on the side of black holes being wildly misunderstood, but in this scenario, they're not touching the physics of the black hole, just using it as a disruptive placeholder. Could their simulation of a million solar mass black hole really be two million or a half a million? Sure. The point is that the disruptive events do indeed happen. They do spot these strung out stars chasing the dragon in space. Lastly on the article front, the faintest whisper of a nightmare for mainstream climate scientists. I doubt most of them would even understand what this one is talking about when it described the small air ions at ground level being tied into the temperature at ground level. I doubt most even understand the basics of the global electric circuit or its excitement by space weather, but I know you do. Folks, I hope you didn't miss yesterday's show. I got pied in the face. Our disaster vehicle, the Big Burb, episode one rolled out over on the other channel. There is minor solar wind impacts coming over the weekend, but nothing scary. And we've got to thank you for all the wonderful comments on yesterday's video. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.